Pope Sylvester I, also Sylvester, died the 31st of December 335, was pope of the Catholic Church from 314 to his death in 335. He succeeded Pope Multiades. He filled the see of Rome at an important era in the history of the Western Church, yet very little is known of him. The accounts of his papacy preserved in the Liber Pontificalis 7th or 8th century contain little more than a record of the gifts said to have been conferred on the Church by Constantine I, although it does say that he was the son of a Roman named Rufinus. His feast is jubilantly celebrated as St. Sylvester's Day in Western Christianity on December 31, while Eastern Christianity commemorates it on January 2. Biography Topic. During his pontificate, the great churches founded at Rome by Constantine, e.g. the Basilica of St. John Lateran, Santa Croce in Jerusalem, Old St. Peter's Basilica were built, and several cemeterial churches were built over the graves of martyrs. Sylvester did not attend the First Council of Nicaea in 325, where the Nicene Creed was formulated, but he was represented by two legates, Vitus and Vincentius, and he approved the council decision. One of the Symmachian forgeries, the Vita Beati Silvestri c. 501-508, which has been preserved in Greek and Syriac and in Latin in the Constitutum Silvestri, is an apocryphal alleged account of a Roman council, including legends of Sylvester's close relationship with the first Christian emperor. These also appear in the donation of Constantine. Legacy Topic. Long after his death, the figure of Sylvester was embroidered upon in a fictional account of his relationship to Constantine, which seemed to successfully support the later Gelasian doctrine of papal supremacy, papal auctoritas authority guiding imperial potestas power, the doctrine that is embodied in the forged donation of Constantine of the 8th century. In the fiction, of which an early version is represented in the early 6th century Symmachian forgeries emanating from the Curia of Pope Symmachus died 514, the Emperor Constantine was cured of leprosy by the virtue of the baptismal water administered by Sylvester. The Emperor, abjectly grateful, not only confirmed the Bishop of Rome as the primate above all other bishops, he resigned his imperial insignia and walked before Sylvester's horse holding the Pope's bridle as the papal groom. The Pope, in return, offered the crown of his own goodwill to Constantine, who abandoned Rome to the Pope and took up residence in Constantinople. The doctrine behind this charming story is a radical one. Norman F. Cantor observes, The Pope is supreme over all rulers, even the Roman Emperor, who owes his crown to the Pope and therefore may be deposed by papal decree. Such a useful legend quickly gained wide circulation. Gregory of Tours referred to this political legend in his History of the Franks, written in the 580s. Pope Sylvester II, himself a close associate of Otto III, Holy Roman Emperor, chose the name Sylvester in imitation of Sylvester I. In the West, the liturgical feast of Saint Sylvester is on the 31st of December, the day of his burial in the catacomb of Priscilla. This is the last day in the year and, accordingly, in German-speaking countries and in some others close to them, New Year's Eve is known as Sylvester. In other countries, too, the day is usually referred to as Saint Sylvester's Day or the Feast of Saint Sylvester. In São Paulo, Brazil, a long-distance running event called the Saint Sylvester Road Race occurs every year on 31 December. Topic legendary topic The donation of Constantine is a document fabricated in the second half of the 8th century, purporting to be a record by the emperor himself of his conversion, the profession of his new faith, and the privileges he conferred on Pope Sylvester I, his clergy, and their successors. According to it, Pope Sylvester was offered the imperial crown, which, however, he refused. Lu Santu Papa Silvestru, a story in Giuseppe Petri's collection of Sicilian fables, recounts the legend as follows Constantine the king wants to take a second wife, and asks Sylvester. Sylvester denies him permission, calling on heaven as witness. Constantine threatens him, and Sylvester, rather than give in, escapes into the woods. Not long after, Constantine falls ill, when he is desperate of ever regaining his health he has a dream which commands him to send for Sylvester. He obeys, and Sylvester receives Constantine's messengers in his cave and swiftly baptizes them, whereafter having shown them several miracles he is led back to Constantine, whom he baptizes also, and cures. 
In this story, Constantine and his entourage are not pagans but Jews. Another legend has Sylvester slaying a dragon. He is often depicted with the dying beast. Topic see also topic List of longest reigning popes List of Catholic saints List of popes topic References topic, topic Literature topic Gisela Schmidt 1995. Pope Sylvester I. In Bots, Traugott. Biographisch Bibliographisches Kirchenlexikon BBKL in German, 10. Herzberg, Bots, Call. 338-341. ISBN 3-88309-062-X. Pope Saint Sylvester I C.E. Francesco Scorza Barcelona, Silvestro I, Santo. In, Encyclopedia dei Papi, Istituto della Encyclopedia Italiana Template, LTHK Horst Furman, Constantinisch Schenkingen, Lexicon des Mittelalters. Volume 5, Artemis and Winkler, Munich, Zurich 1991, ISBN 3-7608-8905-0, Call 1385-1387, Wilhelm Polkamp, Sylvester I, Papst, 314-335, in, Lexicon des Mittelalters. Volume 7 Lexma Verlag, Munich 1995, ISBN 3-7608-8907-7, Call 1905-1908. Topic. External links Topic. Media related to Sylvester I at Wikimedia Commons Opera Omnia by Migni Colonnade statue in St. Peter's Square Legenda Araya